Hello and welcome to part 20 of the Noetic Language, Revealing the Common Mind of Mankind. The book's name, if you will please look for it, is A Body of Language. <clears throat> Today in uh, part 20 we're going to talk about the letters S and SH, the sounds S and SH represented by S and SH in English but by two different characters in Arabic, which, of course, as we've already seen in others, are twins of each other. The S looking like this, kind of. That's a kind of a koofy script. And the SH being the same, but with three dots. They are a pair. They are making reference to the same part of the body, and that is the lips. But the sh is the upper lip, the sa is the lower lip. This took me years. This was one of the last ones to be defined. And I had to finally understand that sh is the upper lip and therefore superior, and sh is the lower lip and therefore inferior. And their extended references are that sh is spiritual things, I believe, because breath passes over the upper lip and not the lower lip. Um, and now if I can get to some examples of sa and sha, we've got for sheen, I want to, the Arabic name of it is sheen, the lips, which are shaffa, edges and rims and borders like shaffa, which is an edge, or hashi, which is a border, then just to live, aisha, to live, and bashar, a human being. All of animacy and excitement like going out and, you've seen Ja and Ga already, going out and doing this to Sha is to arouse passion. We call it a Jaish, an army. And anciently there must not have been standing armies, there must have just been a rally call to arouse this Sha. The Arabs say Insha'Allah, meaning if God is willing. The Sha'a is the same, that's his will, his volition. It's non-palpable, but it's real, and that's sha. As opposed to sa, and I could go on at length about these two, but I just want to introduce them basically. Sa is just skin. It's physical, it's the reality of things, it's the proof of things. It's the sa of, um, uh, uh, it's the sa of reflexives, if you know what I mean in French and Arabic, uh, French and Spanish and in um, Russian, the sya. It means I have reached for it and I have touched it, I have smelt it, I have heard it. In fact, if you, if you can sight, sound, smell, if there's an S in it, if it has substance, if it has essence, in Spanish, ser and estar, that S of just being there is the proof of existence. And in Arabic, the sheen, the sheen, or the lower lip, is in jism for body or mass and size. Salab, the hide of an animal. Jassa, to feel or examine by touch. Massa, to feel. Hassa, to feel or sense. Lamas, to touch or feel. That's sa. It's just that I have reached for it and I have touched it and I have proven it to be true. In other words, if uh, you want to go back to the Bible, Sha is the evidence of things hoped for. It is faith. While Sa is the evidence of things that you can touch and feel. And they, you can see it as much in English as you can in, in Russian and in Arabic when you go looking for especially the S. That'll do it for now. Thanks for being with me. Stay tuned for episode 21. That's all for now. Bye.